In this video, we answer the question that you've asked over and over again. Which briefcase style vacuum from Milwaukee Tool is better? The two and a half gallon Milwaukee Fuel pack out capable vacuum or the standard M18 two gallon vacuum? Previously, when I got that question, I couldn't quite answer it because although on paper, stats seem to favor the pack out vacuum, down on the ground, where the rubber meets the road, the standard M18 vacuum seemed to excel. So what the very cool gang decided to do was to run the most scientific, extreme tool testing on the internet to give you the results you want. Right after this message from our sponsor, PCG Construction. You wanna help out with the channel? Head on over to the merch store. You can get hats, hoodies, t-shirts, link, will be in the description below. The tale of the tape. As we look at both Milwaukee vacuums side by side, you'll see they have very similar stats. They both run on the M18 battery platform, and they both use the same replacement filter part. Both offer a five-year limited warranty but where they differ is in runtime. Both provide 30 minutes of cleanup time, but the Milwaukee M18 two gallon vac requires a nine amp hour battery to accomplish it. Whereas the pack out fuel vacuum only uses a high output 8.0 battery pack. To prepare for the test, both Milwaukee vacuums were outfitted with brand new replacement filters. Product number 49-90-1900. When it comes to replacing the filter, I give the edge to the M18 cordless two gallon vac because the hose is contained inside the lid. When replacing the filter on the pack out vacuum, the hose rides inside of a notch and sometimes can flop out, which makes replacement more cumbersome. Both vacuums will be running a 12 amp hour HO battery for maximum performance and to make the test equal. First test is picking up nuts, bolts, and fasteners from a low pile carpet. We have five of each size here. The Milwaukee briefcase vacuum didn't have much of a problem except for the fact that the hose diameter is an inch and a quarter and we had to extend out that hose so that the larger fasteners could make their way into the canister. Next up is the fuel pack out 18 volt lithium ion cordless two and a half gallon wet dry vac. Not much of a problem with these fasteners. I felt that when the larger bolts started to get stuck, that fuel technology ramped up the motor on the vacuum cleaner and it was able to clear its hose a little easier. But once again, I did have to extend the hose out so that some of the fasteners would drop into the canister. Winner for the nuts and bolts fastener category has to go to the M18 fuel pack out. Next up is the sawdust extraction test. We spread out sawdust on low pile carpet and installed our utility nozzles. As you can see, it looks like the advantage goes to the standard M18 vacuum. You'll see it took more passes from the fuel vacuum to clear the carpet area. As we move on to our crevice test, once again, we're extracting sawdust from our low pile carpet in the corners. As you watch the test unfold, 
I couldn't believe my own eyes. The standard M18 vacuum seemed to excel. And the reason I feel it did is because when you turn on the standard vacuum cleaner, it's on full bore. So these lighter debris are more easily sucked up. The Milwaukee fuel vacuum isn't experiencing enough resistance with these lighter materials to ramp up its motor and create the maximum amount of suction. Next up is our rubber utility test. We evenly spread two pounds of sand, then installed our utility nozzles. First up was the standard M18 vacuum. So much suction from this vacuum that it actually tried to pull the sand through the filter. It extracted every drop of sand from our rubber mat, exactly two pounds. Next up, the Packout Fuel Vacuum. It seemed to do a great job as well in this test. After full extraction and trying to dump every drop of sand out of the pleated filter, you'll see we're 0.2 ounces away from the full two pounds. Kind of disappointing. Finally, we have the test you all tuned in for, the water pull test. Both of these vacuums have pretty stellar statistics for their size. The M18 cordless has a vertical water pull or sealed suction pull of 32 inches. The Packout Fuel gives you a full 47 inches of sealed suction in water. And although we can see these statistics on paper, we wanted to test it out for ourselves. We filled both clear PVC tubes with exactly six quarts of Cherry Red Milwaukee Kool-Aid. And let's see which vacuum is indeed more powerful. After our testing so far, I think you're gonna be surprised. You can see at the 20 second mark, both vacuums have stalled and we called it quits at the 26 second mark. And as you can see from our graduated scale, the Milwaukee M18 fuel packout 18 volt lithium ion cordless two and a half gallon wet dry vacuum pulled way more water, tons extracted from our clear tube. With that being said, I would recommend both of these vacuums. The standard M18 excels when vacuuming smaller and lighter debris. When it comes to full water poles and extraction, the Milwaukee Packout Fuel excels. You're also paying more for being able to integrate this vacuum into the Packout system. Now that you have all that information, you can make the decision for yourself. Which one would be better for you? And if you like being equipped, with the best information to make a decision that will help you. Then smash the like button, it's free for you to do, doesn't cost you a dime, helps out the channel immensely, and you'll get seven years of good luck. I guarantee it. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.